What's up? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Listen, man, I'm going to tell y'all this right now. Man, let's, let's get on. Let's get, let's get, let's get down to business, down to brass tacks. It sucks, but it really feels like the 2K community is comprised of clowns. And the better or the higher level competition you play, like, um, and I get, I get what I'm talking about. The more babyish we get. Like, I'm looking at this game, right? Like, we look at the game and I'm seeing tweets about they people want ankle breaker nerfed. Y'all don't want ankle breaker nerfed. Y'all want dimes to stop shitting on y'all. That's what y'all want. You don't, you don't care about ankle breaker. Ankle breakers are not common enough in this game to to warrant a nerf. And before they nerf ankle breakers, there's so much other stuff that they need to fix in this game. Good wide open releases, not going in, slightly early, slightly late going in. The fact that you can barely get, I don't know if y'all played Team Pro-Am this weekend, dog. I watched people play Team Pro-Am this weekend. It felt like nobody could get a green in there. I mean, like shots was going in, but it felt like you couldn't get a green. They said they fixed that. They hadn't fixed that because, I mean, I, I still shot over 50% or whatever. But there's just no reason that that certain things should happen in this game. And, and we're going to complain about ankle breakers. We're complaining about ankle breakers. Ankle breakers. There's no paint defense. Screens don't work or they're just completely broken. Uh, you can you can set walking screens. You can do all of this stuff. Like it's like like I said, the higher you go up in the 2K community, as far as what's supposed to be skill, high level 2K looks like this. It looks like five out and ISO. That's high level basketball, right? That's high level 2K. That's, that shit, that's not how it should be in basketball, but but that's that's high level 2K, right? Five out. And then if the person that's playing the ISO or the, if the point guard can't beat his man, then it's five out. People just back cut, back cut, back cut. And then if that doesn't work, the point guard might ISO. Like, okay, if you got a trash point guard, it's five out and everybody's just back cutting, right? If you got, if you have a, a good point guard, it's five out and then the point guard is gonna ISO. And then if you have a, um, a good point guard and a good center uh, being defended by somebody, it's gonna be five out um and then screen and roll and then you know that's kind of like what dimes them do but i don't have a problem with that i got no problem with how those guys play because you know i don't have a problem with anchor breakers it's just like with smug and dudley that people were saying you, they, they wanted them to nerf dudley in street fighter why there was one person in the entire world in the entire community that was able to just destroy everybody with dudley and that was smug period that was it all right, so there's one person in the 2K community that is killing everybody with ankle breakers, and that is Dimes, and that is it. At least I haven't seen it enough for me to be like, yo, these ankle breakers are ridiculous. Like I've seen only one person doing it. If one person is doing it, it's just like it's just like if um like after that game that I had with my with my two way sharps, I mean my two way playmaker, like. I was hitting threes with him. That doesn't mean that the build is overpowered. It just means that I'm an exceptional shooter. Now, if I'm an exceptional shooter, I feel like these shots, these good shots, these good releases should be going in. I shouldn't have to shoot a green every time for it to go in, but that's what it feels like. It feels like if it's not green, it doesn't go in. But, but conversely, so if you got somebody like me that's hitting with a build that I shouldn't be hitting with consistently, that's not overpowered, right? If it's one or two people that's doing it, like BTR and Stephan was shooting like 60 yards, 60% with a lockdown defender last year, right? A lot of people, there were a few people that were able to do that, but that's not overpowered. Now, sharpshooters and all those guys being able to hit everything that they throw up, when, when a scrub can do it, a 78 overall came into Pro-Am yesterday and was hitting contested shots, and I had my two-way on it. Now, he didn't win the game, and he lost, he lost by a lot. But the problem, I mean, he had an awful shooting percentage too. But I still was mad at the ones that he hit. But the fact that that happens and anybody can do it, that makes it overpowered. One or two people in the community doing stuff, paint defense being complete garbage. Anybody can make a rebounding slasher. Anybody can make a rebounding slasher. If they can get right here, this is what's going to happen. It doesn't matter if it's three people down there, five people down there, six people down there. Any any scrub 
can make a uh, make a uh, rebound and slasher and stand right here and dunk on people. Now you got somebody like my dog Paul. He don't do like that. He actually he actually comes down, makes good moves, drop steps, and all of that. Like he makes good moves. Some people do make good moves, but what I see a lot of people do. Anybody that has Duncan in their archetype can just come right here. If they can get you in the restricted area, they can just go up, and they feel like they can go up. And if they don't get the dunk animation, they get they get that one right there. And it, oh, not that one. I'm sorry. If they don't get the dunk animation, what do they get? They get that right there, and it still goes in. And even though they change the fact that you can block shots or that you're supposed to be able to block shots or uh, and not get a foul penalty, it doesn't matter. The only difference is now you're not getting the foul for it. That's it. Like when you jump at it, they're still dunking on you. They're still getting the contact dunk animation at 7-3, which they're not supposed to. But hey, 2K don't care about that. That any scrub, any scrub, 60 overall on a, a 78 overall can be dominant. If a 78 overall can be dominant at a position, and we know that they're not good because all they have to do is press square, whether it's a sharpshooter that just has to shoot a jump shot, and, and they can hit it. And, and just press square because they maxed out their three-point shooting or a rebound and slasher who maxed out Duncan and you can't contain them in the post with no post moves. If a sharpshooter was coming off 15 screens, running around, playing well, and all that, you could do nothing but tip your hat to it. But that's not what's happening. Sharpshooters, they just left right. It, and, and that's what we're saying. That part, these things like that, paint defense and, and this right here, this left, right approved stuff, that needs to be fixed before anybody looks at anything that Dimes is doing. You got one, like I said, if you got one or two people that are exceptional, you don't nerf something because those players are exceptional. Y'all got the game all the way messed up. You don't do that. If I saw, if I were to see everybody hitting our uh, ankle breakers, like last year when ankle breaker was, man, stop calling me. When ankle breakers were completely broken last year, when anybody could have bronze ankle breaker and then turn it to gold and then just drop you with this, this this was it. I I, uh, I had I had defensive stopper. Dude just did this right here, one or two times. Boom! I was toes up. Not even making a move. I'm not moving. He's not moving. Nobody's moving. But like, and I, and I can understand the people talking about how dimes is spamming. But look. Everybody else be spamming too. And people are not dropping like that. So obviously he knows something in the game that, that other people don't know. And especially, I ain't gonna lie to you, because especially when he gets you right here and you got a regular guard and he does that and you dead. Like, dog, that stuff don't need to be nerfed. I'm mad as hell that it goes in. You be mad as hell that it go in too. But look, when he gets you right here and just does that and, and it goes in after he spammed 15 times, like, dog, you can't say that that needs to be nerfed like maybe okay, maybe those shots when he when you're leaning on him like that, maybe that need to be nerfed. But that goes with paint defense being nerfed. It wouldn't be a problem with him dropping people with ankle breakers. If like what else you want to do though? If if you take the ankle breakers away from him, then what are they gonna do? They're gonna just set screens, and then he he knows how to play with the screen. He's gonna get everybody else involved. No, it's not gonna matter. If you're a good player, you're gonna play well anyway, right? It doesn't matter if they if they nerf something, they take something away, whatever they do, it, it's not gonna matter. So. You still gonna get the the fact that you're falling doesn't matter because you can't stay in front of him anyway, right? One on one, am I wrong? And I'm not just I'm not I'm not jock riding. I'm just saying that that people want things nerfed when some you can't nerf it because somebody is exceptional. We have to nerf all the scrub stuff first. Let's get rid of contested shots first. Let's get rid of the stuff that everybody is doing at low level. Let's get rid of the bad paint defense first. And it's not even bad paint defense. It's just bad paint physics. You should not be able to move through somebody. If I am here and you're leaning on me, you should not be able to just go up and dunk on me from here. I'm 732. I I have it and this this is not my two way, but I'm 73 also. I have I have good paint defense. I have good but but the game shifts you. It just shifts people or it lets them drop step through you and they shouldn't be able to drop step. Those type of things have to be addressed before we even think about ankle breakers. Ankle breakers are the least of our issues. If you get your ankles broke, most of the time you just got them broke. I've only seen one or two times where somebody just kept falling, like when, uh, when Clips was playing before we had defensive stop when we were playing Pro-Am. One dude kept dropping him, he had them toes up eight times in the game. But look, we, d we adjusted and, and we won. It wasn't, I'm just saying look, 
That's not why Dimes' team be winning. That's probably why people fear him because it makes you look ridiculous. But come on, man. This is a video game. We know it's a video game. Like, people really be like, yeah, I did this to death. Dog, you didn't do nothing to me. You didn't do nothing to me. We just playing, you know what I'm saying? It's just what the video game allowed you to do. You, you, y'all gotta stop looking at it like it's an ego thing, like, like he crushed you or, or dimes shitted on you or dimes did this or that. You just gotta look at it like, hey, look, the game is letting him drop me with those ankle breakers. The game is allowing him to do that. Now, he gotta have skills to be able to do it. I'm not saying that he don't have no skills because like I said, if it didn't take skill, everybody will be able to do it. But, but people gotta stop taking this personally. Be, and, and like when somebody drop you 15 times in a game, you gotta just stop being like, hey, he did it to you. It's like, I'm not even doing anything. It's the, it's the whole community. That's why I'm like, the community is full of clowns because we look at something like that, it's like, dog, it's a video game. It ain't like when Iverson rocked and re-rocked Jordan and, and pulled up on him and Jordan had outstanding defense. Jordan was still there on the shot. But people still say he was he killed Jordan. But y'all forget that Mike had some crazy stats and won the game. So I think Mike, what 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 uh, Murder Mook said, Mike still had 35 points and won that game. But the only thing that we realize, only thing we remember is how how uh, AI uh, shook him that one time. Like I said, man, you don't nerf things because one player is exceptional. If he has the game knowledge. And, Cause that's all this game is about now is game knowledge. At high level, it's only game knowledge of what you can get away with, and then people just continuing to score over and over and stuff like that. That's all it is. You have to just know, like I said, five out, five out, and ISO ball, five out and screens, or five out and cuts. That's what high level 2K looks like uh, and zigzagging. If you if you if they have a, a pure uh, pure sharp at the at the playmaker, that's what high level 2K looks like. It shouldn't be that way, but that's the way it is. It's just like like I said. If I make a good jump shot and everybody can hit with a jump shot, then the jump shot is OP. If I make Duckworth, like Duckworth, everybody can hit with that. That jump shot might have needed to be nerfed. It might have been overpowered. But this jump shot I use right now, my main jump shot, not everybody can hit with this. So this jump shot is not OP. That just means that I'm an exceptional shooter. Now, if you have a pure sharp shooter and you're hitting from half court and anybody can hit from half court with them, that's, that doesn't mean you're an exceptional shooter. That just means, like, my man is an exceptional shooter because he can shoot threes at a high percentage with his uh, with his playmaking shot creator. Nobody else is doing that, right? So that means that he's an exceptional shooter. You can't count yourself exceptional if somebody is doing, if, if everybody is doing what you're doing. You can't say I'm an exceptional center because I'm dunking on people or say, like, like let's say I'm playing you with my two-way and you're like, well, Jay trash because I was dunking on him. Dude, it's what the game allowed you to do. So you can't say... You're exceptional because you're dunking on somebody because everybody that has slashing in their veins can do this. Anybody can do it. But you have to, we, at some point, we just got to respect what the man is doing, man. You got to respect what people are doing because, look, I'm able to get rebounds and be effective with a two-way stretch. Like, come on, man. Is anybody else really doing that? Because we know the paint defense is trash. So if you can even limit what somebody's doing, like nobody says that, but I, I don't think there's anybody out there saying that, that you know this guy's a great center or whatever, especially if they got slashing. When they're not making no moves, you don't have to make any moves. You don't have to do anything. Sharp shooter, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do, like, it's like, it's just like what we're talking about for the E-League. It's gonna be centers and, and point guards, really, for the E-League. Everybody else is pretty much replaceable. At, on on these on the big name teams because all they're doing is either backdooring or they're just shooting wide open threes. Like anybody could do that. So it's gonna be hard to fill out the roster in different positions. But point guards and centers, they're going to really be able to shine because they're gonna get the biggest opportunity to shine. I I, I don't know man. Like I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. Like like it's not jock riding nobody. It's not it's just just saying how the community is such it's so clownish. You got one or two people that leave people toes up on this game on the regular. Nobody else can do it, at least from what I have seen. I have not seen other people get dropped repeatedly like they do or get their ankles broken repeatedly like they do. If y'all seen it, y'all let me know and tell me that it need to be nerfed. I could be completely wrong. But I have not seen people get dropped repeatedly and 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 um and need help, need some milk. He's falling and I can't get up. I mean, when they playing against other people, I have not seen it. So why are we gonna nerf ankle breaker when we got so many other problems in the game? Like hidden contested shots, 
bad paint defense. We have to nerf the stuff that everybody is able to do first before you try to target one player and say, hey, a one or two players, a couple of a couple of exceptional players and say, hey, this needs to be nerfed because of this. Because nobody else in the community, I don't even care about ankle breakers. Like I said, I don't think I've been toes up maybe two or three times this year. And last year, come on, man. People was getting dropped left and right last year. Um, just just off of any move, anything. So like, you, you can't you can't hurt somebody because they have exceptional game knowledge and because they know what to do. Just like people that run pick and roll in five out, they just know that that works. That's it. They know that it works. They know, I mean, we know it's cheap. We know it's not real basketball, but you gotta let go of real basketball when you play 2K, man. The average 2K player never touched a basketball in their life at any level other than um, other than backyard. That's the average NBA, I mean, that's the average NBA 2K player has never touched a basketball at any level. They hadn't even played JV, middle school, none of this. The only thing that they have ever done is pick up this controller and play backyard basketball, and, and that was it. You wanna go to Toys R Us? I'll take you to Toys R Us, my, my boy. Come here. But anyway, like I said, now, uh, conversely, I've been playing basketball since I was five years old. So that's just like, let, 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 let me let me give y'all some, let me give y'all some perspective. So saying nerfing certain jump shots that people are using, or nerfing ankle breaker because the truth of the matter is y'all are scared of dying. Saying to do that is just like what they did to Lou Alcindor back in the '60s when they said he was the only one crushing people with the slam dunk. Killing them. He was killing them. And they said, what? This is not a skillful shot. We're gonna remove it from college basketball. You know what he did? And this is what Dimes gonna do if they, if they take away the ankle breaker. I bet you he got something else up his sleeve. You're not losing because of the ankle breaker. I promise they got something else up their sleeve. Listen. They took the bas they took the dunk out of the game for Lou Al Sender. Y'all might know him as Kareem Abdul Jabbar later. What did he do? He did nothing except for create the most unstoppable move ever created in basketball, the sky hook. So because, because you, because you didn't want this right here, right? You didn't want Lou Alcindor doing that. This is what he did. Okay, not that, I'm sorry. Because you couldn't deal with that and people was mad because he was doing that. That's the only thing, that's, that's what he started doing. Okay, deal with this. So they couldn't deal with him dunking on people like this in college because they said it's not a skillful, it's not skillful, it's not this, it's not that. So all he started doing was sky hooking, sky hooking, sky hooking. And he became one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He was still going to be one of the greatest basketball players to ever pick up a basketball, regardless of if they took the slam dunk away from him or not, because he was that good. At some point, you got to realize that people are just good and they are better than you. There are a lot of people in this game that are better than me and their teams are better than us. That's why we were losing this weekend because it showed we got a lot of work to do if we want, like, look, if I want to play Team Pro-Am, I got a long way to go. I got no delusions about it. We have a long way to go. Do I think I can make it in Team Pro-Am? Of course I do. I mean, it's a video game, right? At the end of the day, look, at the end of the day, if I'm playing good defense and I'm hitting open shots, that's all I need to do because that's all a lot of other people need to do. But the whole point that I'm trying to make is if you try to nerf, if you try to nerf an exceptional player, I promise you, that's, you, you got to stop thinking that the reason that they're winning is because of what they're doing. The only reason that Kareem was dunking is because he was at the rim. It wasn't because he couldn't shoot it. The dude was good from 18 feet from right here with a sky hook. He was good. He became one of the most dominating players to ever play the game in both college and in real basketball because they tried to nerf him. Take away the dunk, it's not a skillful shot. Okay, but I put it in, you know what? I put it in from here. Could you imagine them doing something like that today? We ain't even gonna talk about the, the politics of the whole thing because they didn't want, why they didn't want him to be the best. But like, they won, what, they won all the championships. They didn't lose a game, they, they probably lost a couple of games while he was there, but they really didn't, they didn't lose more than uh, maybe five games while he was at, at there and they won the title all those times. That was part of the the, the, the run where they what they did with John, John Wooden. You know, I mean, obviously he's gonna be one of the greatest coaches of all time. You got Bill Walton, Lou Alcindor, and all those great players that come through there. Of course you're gonna be, be good, but that's beside the point. The whole point I'm trying to make is this, guys. 
We gotta stop crying about the things that one person is doing. We got to look, like why are we even crying about this one guy that that gets ankle breakers? It's not enough people in, if, if a few people are getting ankle breakers, it's not enough ankle breakers in the community for people to be crying about it or to even be complaining about it. At least I haven't seen them. If you do, you need to, you need to work on your defense. But if one person is overpowered, the move is not overpowered. The fact that everybody that has sharpshooter can hit contested shots, everybody that has slasher can do this at will. We, we don't even want that. Paint defense is trash, so you can't play paint defense. Nobody really wants to play center because you look bad because you get dunked on all, all the time over and over. You can't bully people like you want to. And then if you spread people out and you got a slasher that goes to the rim, you can forget about it. It's either a foul or two points. And it don't even have to be a smart two points. Let's fix the stuff like that. Let's fix the moving screens, like Swante said. You gotta fix moving screens. You gotta fix paint defense. You gotta fix all that other stuff, man. You gotta fix contested shots. You gotta miss, you gotta fix uh, blown, good, wide open releases. You have to fix all of those things before you can even think about fixing ankle breaker. It's just too much stuff that needs to be taken care of before we can say, hey, hey, uh, 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 I'm getting dropped by this one player and it's embarrassing and I don't want, look, hey, I play against him, he probably gonna drop me too because that's what the game is going to allow him to do. And he knows it. I'm probably gonna get dropped too, but it ain't because I'm a bad player. It's just because that's what the game is allowing him to do and he's a good player. Y'all, just, we just gotta let go of egos, man. It's some people out there that you just can't fuck with, dog. It, it's that simple. There are some people out there, you have, we have to come to grips. Yes, it's a video game. Yes, I got the control in my hands, just like he do. There are some people out there that you just can't fuck with. And, I, and I, we ran into them this weekend. We ran into some of them this weekend. We are not ready. And, and it's just humbling when somebody else, like I can say, hey, look, we ain't ready. Our defense ain't ready. We have no offense. We're not gonna win that many team pro-am games, dog. We're gonna lose more than we win when we play top teams. And it ain't but like 10 or 15 top teams, but the point, the point of, I mean, you can be top 100, that really don't matter. We, we know it's like 10, 10 top teams, really. But look, the point, of, the point of the matter is you can't nerf something because one person is exceptional. I gave you the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I gave you the AI. AI was the only one out there just crushing people. They nerfed him. He still had a Hall of Fame career. Took his team to the title after they tried to nerf him. He was the only one out there with the crossover. They they literally changed the game, game for him. Reggie Miller, they literally changed the game for him because he was getting too many fouls when he was kicking his leg out. What happened? It doesn't matter. Still a Hall of Famer. Uh, big, big, uh, uh, round bound the rebound, round bound the rebound, uh, Charles Barkley, back to the basket, all this, uh, 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 back to the basket, five seconds, still had a Hall of Fame for career, they tried to nerf him, um, uh, what's my man name, uh, they used to play for the Pistons, they used to defend Jordan with the hand checking, uh, I can't think of his name right now, man, but, uh, look, they took hand checking out the game for him, um, well, it wasn't Lindsey Hunter, it was, uh, I can see his name, I can see his name, I can see his face, he's bald headed, and dark skin, but I can't think of his name right now. Hand check rule removed for, I can't think of his name, man. Um, I wanna say Harper, Harper, uh, Harper, Harper, Pistons, Harper. Um, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hand check. All right, let me see, what was his name, man? Uh, was it? It wasn't Ron Harper, was it? It might have been Ron Harper. Ron Harper? No, it wasn't Ron Harper. It was, uh... No, I can't think of what his name was, but they took the hand check move. They took the hand check out because of him. Let me see. Hand check was removed for this player. Let me see who abused the, who abused the hand check, man. Um... Dang, I can't think of what his name was, dog. But he was a great defender. He played for the Pistons. Um... Let me see, bad boy Pistons roster. That's what I need to know. That's all I need to know. Um, I can find it from here. Okay, let's find. Let me see what what who the roster was. Uh, I cannot think. I I I I I don't know. I don't know who it was, man. But y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Y'all, somebody tell me in the comments, man. Um, somebody will tell me in the in the comments, uh, who it was, man. But look. 
listen, you can't, you can't nerf something because one or two players are exceptional. It just doesn't make sense. We got to start with all the stuff that everybody is doing that nobody can stop. And um, was it Alvin Harper? Alvin Harper. Nope. I can't think of what his name is, man. But anyway, I have already talked too long. I done ran it too long. 25 minute video. It's just the 2K community is just clowns because we won't, they will vote to not, we will vote to not, um, to, to not have heavily contested shots nerfed, but we'll try to get dimes nerfed. It's one person. That's a doubt. You got to get good. Like I said, we play against them. We probably going to do the same thing to us. We just got to try to figure it out. Or we going to get 30 ball like everybody else is. It is what it is, man. It, it, it can't be that big of a deal. And it certainly is not as big of a deal as zero paint defense, zero paint physics, people drop stepping through you, people draining threes right in your mouth, and all that stuff, man. It is what it is, man. Let me get up out of here, man. Alvin Harper played football. What the hell I'm talking about? Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Um, Y'all know what I'm saying, man. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Hope the video wasn't too long. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys uh, agree with me. But somebody tell me who the piss this guy was and they did the, the hand check rule. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who the hand check rule, who the hand check rule was was, was uh, for, man. But I can't I can't find it right now. Um, you know I can't think of who it was. But it was somebody on the Pistons, man, and they was just hand checking Jordan too much. And uh, yeah, they just they, they took it out of the game for him. But anyway, I gotta get up out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope you guys agree with me. Like I said, we ain't nut riding nobody. We just telling it facts. You can't nerf me. You can't nerf certain shots because I'm an exceptional shooter. Or man, man is an exceptional shooter. You can't nerf. Um, you, or, or at least you can't do it first. You can't nerf ankle breaker because one person is killing everybody with it. You gotta do it when everybody is doing it. So let's deal with the stuff. The, the, the screens, the moving screens, the bad paint defense, the people dunking on people over and over. You can be a complete scrub. Let's deal with the stuff that complete scrubs can do first. And then let's worry about, you know, the rest of the stuff. Anyway, I'm out of here, man. Y'all let me know what other stuff that everybody can do that needs to be nerfed before we worry about ankle breaking. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this month.